What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Max 90 SE in the Swingman or Ken Griffey Jr. colorway. This pair is part of a larger Nike Swingman or Griffey collection. And according to sneaker blogs, this pair is set to drop on June 25th in the States. But here in Canada on footlocker.ca, they already dropped on the website, which is where I managed to grab these. So this pair is priced at 130 US dollars or 170 Canadian. And the official colorway for this shoe is white, freshwater, gray fog, and smoke gray. So here's a little backgrounder about Ken Griffey and why he's relevant to me. So one of my very first sports memories is watching the Toronto Blue Jays win back-to-back -back World Series championships in 92 and in 93. So safe to say, baseball was actually my very first love before basketball. And growing up watching the Home Run Derby and things like that, there was no baseball star I looked up to more so than Ken Griffey Jr. There was just something about him, he had so much swag, and I loved his signature backwards hat look. So anyways, when they announced this collection, safe to say, Ken Griffey Jr., Air Max 90s, two things I'm a big fan of, so this pair was a definite instant cop. So diving straight into the details, unlike your traditional Air Max 90s, the base layer of this shoe, as visible in the toe box, this is actually constructed out of a very soft nylon, which almost has a bit of a feel of neoprene. On the lateral edge, we have this mini swoosh, which is embroidered in this black color with this red outline on the edges. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this synthetic gray suede, which has a feel of felt. And then underneath this, we have this tumbled leather mudguard with a contrast blue stitching. Covering the eye stays of the shoe, this is constructed out of this white colored TPU on the bottom and black on the top. And then on the quarter panel, we have more of that gray synthetic suede. And then stitched on top of this, we have this gray swoosh constructed out of a tumbled gray leather. And one of my favorite parts about this shoe is right next to the swoosh, they've added this red stitching, which resembles the stitching on a baseball. Cut out towards the back end of the mudguard, it reveals this white colored TPU with Air Max branding in black. And then we have more of this nylon material covering the back end of the shoe, and then stitched on top on the center of the back heel, we have this Nike Air Max branding done in a combination of white and red, which again is a nod to the colors of a baseball. For the laces, these come with these white flat laces, but the lace tips feature this crosshatch pattern. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of that same nylon material, and at the top, instead of Nike branding, we have Ken Griffey Jr.'s signature backwards cap, along with the initials for Junior and the number 24. These come with their standard foam insole, it's lined in this white material on the top, and again we have the number 24 and the backwards hat graphic, which is printed on the heel. So the upper of the Air Max 90s sits atop this polyurethane foam midsole, which is painted in white in the forefoot and the back heel, but the heel wedge is colored in that signature Seattle Mariners finish in that fresh water color. And we have this cutaway which reveals the air unit that's found within the midsole, and the air unit itself is done in red. Hanging off the shoe, they also give us a hang tag as well. It's done in this gold finish. We have number 24 lasered out on one side and the Ken Griffey Jr. or Swingman logo on the other side. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Max 90 outsole. So this is entirely constructed out of rubber in this red color on the tip of the toe, black on the forefoot, along with these accents of fresh water or turquoise on the back heel. So for those wondering how these fit, overall these fit like most of your recrafted Air Max 90s, so I'd recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. So as I've mentioned before in my past Air Max 90 recraft videos, ever since Nike tweaked the build of the Air Max 90s in early 2020, for some reason they feel much, much more comfy on feet. The foam in the midsole feels much softer, but it's also much more responsive as well. And unlike past Air Max 90s, which feel pretty stiff on feet, these guys are excellent for a casual use shoe. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, this is probably the worst part about this sneaker. So the materials, to be honest, felt a little bit more on the cheap side. And to add to that, the craftsmanship on my pair wasn't the best either. I felt like the paint job on the midsole was a little bit sloppy. There were some glue stains throughout the shoe. So it definitely wasn't Nike's finest work. With all that being said now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, quality issues aside, I feel like Nike did a great job paying homage to the great Ken Griffey Jr. 
If I could tweak anything, I would have preferred probably a more Mariners focused colorway instead of a Mariners slash general baseball inspired colorway. So I could have probably done without the red. Still, I gotta love this baseball stitching on the side. And overall, this is just a really dope, really clean colorway. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Swingman or Ken Griffey Jr. Air Max 90s. For those of you guys watching, is this a pair that interests you or is this a straight pass? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.